Today we're looking at three tabletop tripods and figuring out which one is best for your camera. Hey guys, Blake Calhoun, and today we're looking at tabletop tripods. And these are several pretty popular options. This one's from Manfrotto, this one's from Movo, and this one is from Small Rig. I like them all in different ways, but today I want to figure out which one is best for particular jobs. Or is one of them really good for everything? I'm going to look at build quality, payload capacity, and functions of each tripod. All right, first up, the Manfrotto Pixie, and this is a tripod I've used for a long time, and I really like it a lot. It is especially great for smartphones. It's made out of plastic, so it's really light, but it's very sturdy, and so I do like that. It is well-built. It's made by Manfrotto, and they build quality products. The head tilts by pushing in this button, and you can move it around. You release the button, and it locks. And so you can put your camera there and easily rotate the head. And so it's a solid option. And I would say it's really great for beginners. This is one of the number one things I recommend people get, especially when they're starting out with smartphones. Now, if you're using different cameras, this can work as well. If you're using a GoPro or a small compact camera or a small mirrorless camera, it will work, but it's not as robust as some of the other ones. But this Manfrotto Pixie is a very solid starter option or a great lightweight option to throw in a backpack or in a small camera bag. All right, next up is one from a company called Movo. And this one is similar to the Pixie, similar size anyway, but this one is made out of metal, it's all metal. So the build quality is more robust, but the use is probably more or less the same. It's designed for smaller cameras, smaller setups, smartphones, compact cameras, small DSLR cameras. This one has a ball head though that you can easily adjust more easily than the Manfrotto. And so you twist this knob and the ball head moves around whichever way you want and then you lock it down and it'll stay in that position. The other thing that's nice about this one is compared to the Pixie is you can twist this knob here and you can open up the legs wider. So that's the wide position. The tripod is lower to the ground. You fold the legs back, you twist it, there's a the little marker there, and now the legs are at a higher position. And so it's a couple inch difference, and that can make a difference, especially if you're shooting tabletop kind of stuff, or it could help regardless of where you're shooting, just to raise the camera up or down. And so this is in the same category with the Pixie, but it's just, again, a little more robust, made out of metal, better build quality, and I like how it is more height adjustable with the way these legs work. All right, and here is the last one we're looking at today, and it's from Small Rig. Small Rig makes really quality stuff at affordable prices, and this tripod is no different than the rest of the gear they sell. This is very well built, very strong, very robust. It is all metal, and these legs have a lot of tension to them, and so they can spread out very far to go down low, or they can be set to be in the middle. Then your tripod is raised up a little bit. Has these little rubber feet that help hold it when it's in position. And again, the tension on these legs is really hard. It's very hard to move these, which is a good thing because they stay in place. They don't lock. I do kind of wish they locked in place, had different positions they would lock into. That way you'd get maybe a little more of an even setup when you set it down. However, it's still really nice that you can adjust it up and down like that. And this tripod will hold a wide variety of cameras, bigger cameras like DSLRs, even small cinema cameras. Of course, it'll work with smartphones and action cameras. The head's a little bit different too. You can see it comes with a quick release system, a plate. And so you can take this off and put it into your camera. And that way you can easily take your camera on and off this mini tripod, which is great. And then obviously the ball head will adjust the position, the angle you want to shoot. And so the build quality of this one is really top notch. If you're looking for something to hold a larger camera 
or a wide variety of cameras, really any camera for that matter, this would be a good choice for that. All right, so for the Manfrotto Pixie, when it comes to payload capacity, it does hold 2.2 pounds, which actually is probably more than you would want to put on this. Typically speaking, I put an iPhone on this. This is an iPhone 11 Pro Max. This has got a quarter 20. I'm using a shoulder pod and just the case, and it's got a small ND filter on there. This is from Polar Pro. Basic stuff here, you just twist this on and you're set up and ready to go. This obviously only weighs like under three, probably around 300 grams, maybe a little bit less. And so it's no problem doing that at all. And then the other thing, of course, with this, when you're using uh, all these mini tripods, it's nice to be able to use them as a hand grip as well. And so you could use this for doing selfie shots if you're vlogging. Again, depends on the weight and the camera. But for this tripod, again, 2.2 pounds would hold this. It would hold easily an Osmo Pocket or like an action camera. I have a mount on this, a tripod mount. And so I sometimes will put this on there, which works well. And then this is a B-Script cage. It's a B-Script Pro, and I've got an anamorphic adapter on there. It's their 1.55. I don't know exactly how much this weighs. It's under two pounds for sure. Once you put the phone in there, and it'll hold this no problem as well. So that's usually what I personally use this type of tripod for. You could definitely put a DSLR on here, a small one, especially if you're doing something that's maybe not a long lens shot, a wider lens shot, because with a small tripod like this and you put a DSLR on here, a longer lens, the lens will probably shake. And so if you're shooting video, that's not good. If you're doing stills, that could work. And that's a good point. Keep in mind that all these tripods work very well for photography in addition to video. My channel is about video and film production, but these tripods do obviously work well with photography too. All right, and so now the Movo here is also excellent with smartphones. It's a good size. It's similar in size to the Pixie, to the Manfrotto. Just to see the size, it's about the same as the size of an iPhone. This is an iPhone 11 Pro Max. And so like the Pixie, you just thread this on. It has a quarter 20. And then you put the legs out, however you want it. And you're ready to shoot. And of course it has the ball head that I mentioned in the build quality section. So here's the crazy thing. This tripod is rated to hold 11 pounds. That's what Mobo says this will hold. I find that a little bit hard to believe. Now, it is a quality build, and it is a little heavier than the Manfrotto. But the idea that you'd want to put an 11 pound camera on this is a little bit beyond what I think I would do. Now, let me show this though. This is a Canon DSLR. It's a pretty hefty camera. I would say this easily weighs three, maybe even four pounds with this bigger lens on here. And so it's holding this pretty well. Again, it's rated at 11 pounds. I don't think I'd put anything bigger than a DSLR on it. And this is probably pushing the max of what I would put on this. I really feel like this is better served for smartphones or like a beast cage or even like i said earlier a osmo pocket or an action camera you know those don't weigh anything but these are nicely designed for that so again this will hold larger cameras like this dslr but i don't really recommend it for these just because mainly if anything the size of the legs the spread it doesn't have great balance when you put more heavyweight stuff on top Okay, and now the small rig. The small rig is rated to hold, believe this or not, the legs are rated for 44 pounds. That's right, 44 pounds. Now the head, they say, is rated to hold about five pounds or 4.8 pounds. So I'm not sure why the discrepancy, I assume you could potentially take this head off and use the legs separately. I haven't tried that, but this is really robust. This will hold a lot of weight. And so the reason I bought this was to set up my cinema camera on like a table for doing demos, like tutorials and that kind of thing. But also for phones, again, an iPhone, a smartphone would fit on here, no problem. This is a quarter 20. And then of course, DSLRs. I'll just demonstrate that real quickly. This has the nice Arca Swiss plate. And so the plate comes off and then you put that on your device. 
And the nice thing is you can get other plates and put them on different devices and that way it'll slide right in here. You could take this off this tripod and put it on another tripod that has the same type of system. Put that in there and lock it down. And now you're ready to shoot. And again, this is a fairly heavy DSLR and it's holding this no problem whatsoever. It feels very secure. It feels much more secure than the Movo. The Movo again is rated to hold almost 12 pounds, but that ball head system feels a little bit weak to me. The legs may be more strong than the ball head. In this scenario, both these feel really strong and robust. But again, this will hold anything here and including larger cinema cameras. Whatever you wanna throw on this really will fit. Again, depending on what you're doing it for. Normally you would put those type of rigs on a bigger tripod. But if you need a tabletop shot or put it in a small corner, you're getting a specialty shot. Or again, if you're doing a tutorial and you wanna put a bigger camera on a table like this, this is a really nice way to go. So the Pixie doesn't really have any major special features or functions. It does have a quasi, I mean, it is a ball head. You push in this button, as I showed earlier, move it around and you release it and it stays put. The legs are either folded in or put out. And so it is a fixed height tripod. You can't lower it or make it taller. It is good because it's secure. It's not going anywhere. It doesn't hold a lot of weight, but it is a solid option, especially for smartphones and small little action type cameras or compact cameras. The other thing of course is you can hold it and use it as a hand grip. And so you could again vlog with this. You could do a variety of different shots with it. Any kind of moving shot. And as a matter of fact, I often will shoot with this setup when I shoot handheld because that way when I'm walking I have something to grip onto. The handle is contoured. Now the Movo actually has several features and functions that I want to highlight and a couple of them are pretty unique. I already went over in the build quality section how the legs will, will go into two different heights. And so that's pretty nice. It has a ball head. The ball head though is its weakest link I found through my testing. I don't know if it's just this unit or whether it's a design flaw. It doesn't lock down as well as I would like, especially when using heavier stuff. For smartphones it's fine, but I wish you could tighten that down and make sure that it is actually completely locked down. But you can use this as a handle, just like with the Manfrotto Pixie. So you could vlog or do handheld stuff, or of course just use it as a traditional hand grip. But then this one does something really kind of cool. You can take this head off, and so the sticks come apart. And that is one good point. If this head wasn't working for you, you could get a different head, like a, maybe even a Manfrotto head, because these sticks below it are pretty nice. And then it has an extension rod. So here's the rod. And so then this connects onto here. It's a quarter 20 mount. And now you've got a much taller tripod. And so this becomes much more versatile. I don't even know if I can get all that in my shot here. This is really quite long. And here's the cool part. So it extends even further and you tighten it down. And so that is supposedly about 16 inches. And so then this tripod turns into a lot more than just a small tabletop tripod. You could use this as a selfie stick. You could obviously put this on a tabletop. And so then you have a lot taller shot. And when I'm using it like this, I would more than likely put the legs in the wider position. That way you have a little bit better balance along the bottom. So this right here really makes this one pretty unique and really stand out from the other two from a versatility perspective. And again, they claim this will hold 12, almost 12 pounds. Maybe, maybe they're talking about the legs. If you take this stuff off, the legs themselves might hold 12 pounds, I believe that. But once you put the ball head, and especially with this extension rod on there, I think this is really designed for a smartphone or an action camera or a very light compact camera. And one other thing I wanted to show is the Movo comes with a carrying case. And so it is pretty nice. It's small, but the tripod fits in one side, the extension pole fits in the other, and you can lock it up. And it's got a little clip here to clip on to whatever, your backpack. So if you're going hiking or something, you could pop that on your backpack. But that is a nice thing that the other two do not come with. 
So the functions and features of this tripod are pretty interesting and make it much more professional than the other ones, in particular when it comes to using bigger cameras. The thing that I've mentioned a couple times is how the legs will go out and spread. And so they can be positioned in different heights and they don't lock in place, but they have a lot of resistance or tension. And so your camera is safe in various positions. Now, I tend to like to spread the legs out further just to have extra security, but again, it's fine. Now, the other thing is this has a really high quality ball head. So you can move this camera around and put it in all different positions and lock it down and it just stays. So if you are using especially a heavier camera and you want to put it in a different position and lock it down, this is your best choice out of these tripods. And then the other thing that really makes this one kind of special is it has a release here on the side and this actually has a quasi fluid head. And so you can actually do smooth pans. Maybe a little bit hard to tell there, but you can actually do realistic pans with this mini tripod, which is pretty crazy. A lot of photo tripods and such that people use, especially with this kind of setup or even Manfrotto photo tripods, those heads you can't do smooth pans. And so this is a really cool, more high-end feature of this tripod. And so the Manfrotto Pixie is about $20. The Movo is about $40. And the small rig is about $45 to $50. These prices are the cost now at the time of this recording and could of course fluctuate. All right, so which one of these should you get? Well, the nice thing is they're all excellent products. If you're a smartphone only shooter and you're looking for just the ultimate in portability and a cost-effective solution, then the Manfrotto Pixie is a really good option. And I've had this for years. It'll last a long time. It's easy to take with you. And so this would be a good option to get. If you have any other kind of cameras though, let's say even a compact camera or a DSLR or a mirrorless camera, then one of these two guys is probably a better option. Now this one claims, as I mentioned earlier, to hold 11 pounds. Now it is well built, but it's just small. The legs aren't very big. So I would not put that much weight on this. If I was going to be using something, setting a cinema camera out, I would get the small rig. That way you really do know it will hold the weight. These legs are rated for 44 pounds. That is a lot of weight. And so of course, if you're changing your cameras out a lot, let's say you're putting your camera on a larger tripod and then putting it on a smaller tripod, in other words, you're going back and forth quite a bit, then something like this is a better solution because it has this Arca Swiss mount and you could actually put this on a traditional tripod head. Again, just like most things in filmmaking, it really depends on what you're doing. To get the best of both worlds though, and out of all these, this Movo is probably the most versatile because not only can you adjust the legs to where you're in low mode or high mode, but you've got the extension pole that takes it up to 16 inches. And the cost is right in the middle. Just to recap, this one's about $20, this one's about $40, and this one's about $45 to $50. Of course, depending on where you're buying these, where you're located in the world. The most robust and highest quality build is the small rig. The Movo is second in that respect. The Manfrotto is third, although this is strong, especially for being plastic. So in the end, you really can't go wrong with any of these. They'll all do pretty much the same thing. But if you want versatility and most bang for the buck, the Movo is probably going to be your best choice. So what do you guys think? Let me know in the comments below if you have one of these tripods or another tripod. I realize there are a lot of different tabletop tripods on the market. I'm only looking at three right here, but I have found these to be a nice match between being affordable and offering good quality. Thanks for watching guys. Please like, subscribe, and I will see you in the next video.